out of the disappointment of 67, uh, an inner grit started to develop. And uh, that 71 tournament, we, in fact, rolled New Zealand quite easily by six or seven goals and had them measure most of the game. But England, we just scraped home against by one goal. So the determination to do well really had its seeds sown in the, from the 1967 experience. But that was a wonderful moment in Jamaica. And as captain, to be able to lead your team through the guard of honour at the end, because in those days we didn't have the winner's dais and, you know, the presentation we have these days with the confetti and, you know, the, the, the noise and the um, fireworks. We, we didn't have that at all. But all the competing teams, their, their captains formed uh, a guard of honour with their... Uh, country flags and so as captain I got to lead Australia out the winning team um, out through those flags and I mean and that was just an incredible experience and just a wonderful wonderful moment um, to reflect upon. Sport teaches you an awful lot of about life about how to survive I guess um, in terms of coping with success coping with disappointment because they're the two sides of the coin. Um, you don't, I don't think you can expect one without the other. And I guess it's learning to cope with disappointment, difficulty, you know, how to fight through issues, how to persist uh, and how to plan for the next, the next step uh, and to work your way through those challenges. I, I think that's, that's a life skill that, that you get from sporting experience and stays with you in whatever, in life and, and in the workplace.